I'm joined by our Washington correspondent, Brendan Cullerton, from our D.C. studio. This is a first in our nation's history. Talk to us about what the verdict means. Well, Rebecca, let's start with what it means the jury thought. Uh, this means that the jury was buying what Michael Cohen was selling. He was always the X factor in this entire case because he was the link between these payments, which were much easier to prove that Stormy Daniels received payments, and Donald Trump uh, saying that, you know, he was the one that signed off on the checks. Uh, they really needed to buy that Michael Cohen and his personal testimony that he was acting under Donald Trump's orders. Donald Trump's uh, defense understood this. They spent much of their closing arguments trying to, you know, disqualify him as a witness, saying he was an untrustworthy uh, witness. Apparently, it didn't work because the jury bought what he said and sentenced him to these 34 counts. Um, now, a lot of people are going to ask, can Donald Trump still run for president? Yes, he can still run for president. Um, who knows how this is going to impact the campaign? That's a totally separate story. But even if he is put behind bars, he could win the election. Um, so that is a certainly crazy possibility out of this. Um, and what comes next? There's a July 11th sentencing date. So Judge Mershon has um, a few weeks here to weigh these 34 counts, decide what he wants to do with the sentence. Um, and then, of course, there is the appeal process from Donald Trump, um, where he could go to the state uh, appeals court, then to the state Supreme Court, and potentially all the way up to the U.S. Supreme Court. So it's very possible this ruling is going to be appealed well beyond the November election. And I know this is still new, but what are you hearing from lawmakers about this? Well, I have a statement here from the Speaker of the House, Mike Johnson, who, uh, much like Donald Trump said as he walked out of court today, called this a disgrace, called this is a shameful day in America, and actually brought up that possible appeals process. So I'm sure you're going to see many other people besides the Speaker of the House say that Donald Trump is going to appeal this. Um, much more common, obviously, from Republican lawmakers saying many of the things that Donald Trump has been saying for months, uh, that this is a Democrat-run trial with a liberal-leaning judge, that this is ultimately uh, Joe Biden's Justice Department behind this. And that's going to be something that Donald Trump is going to camp, or not just campaign on, fundraise on. He's already sent out a fundraising email that almost immediately crashed, probably because so many people are trying to donate. Um, so he's sending out the emails. Um, he's going to probably have more money. He's going to need more money for his appeal process and his legal fees. Brendan Cullerton, thank you so much for your time tonight.